going on guys my name's long sensation and today we've got for you guys is a kind of investigation video into what call of duty is going to be released this november now if you guys are not aware we're used to seeing a release from Treyarch and then infinity ward and then Treyarch, infinity ward etc etc it's been like that now for the past since Call of Duty really began and now there's actually been rumours that a different company will be coming into this cycle meaning that each kind of development stage of a game will now be a two year development cycle instead of the previous one year. What does this mean? This means that the game developers now have quite a while to actually develop their games and possibly even add you know, more variety, more kind of um, reskinning and stuff like that as you guys know Call of Duty has been the same since it began it is really all the same all it do is basically revamp the graphics a little bit and make the engine you know a little bit smoother or something like that and of course you know add different things into the game so basically um, once say for instance Call of Duty Black Ops 2 once that fourth DLC package was finished, that's when the, D, uh, the developers then go on to start designing Call of Duty Black Ops 3 or whatever game there was going to release. Same for Call of Duty Ghosts. Once the fourth DLC comes out, once it's released, once everything's been kind of finalised, they forget about this game and then they'll move on to de uh, designing Call of Duty uh, Ghosts 2 or whatever that game's going to be called. However, there's actually been another company called Sledgehammer Games, which we know have assisted with Call of Duty before. They actually um, helped Infinity Ward uh, develop uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, and now they're actually recruiting for people, and the recruitment kind of process does involve Call of Duty. This means that either this year or next year we could possibly see Modern Warfare 4 being developed by Sledgehammer Games. Now what does this mean? This means that the cycle of course will go from one year to two years, meaning that the games will be much much better. As you guys know, Call of Duty is actually so called dying because every single year it is the same thing. Customers will still continue to buy the game just to actually see what it's like, but every single year it's now getting shorter and shorter. Um, of people actually enjoying the game and then of course moving on to different games itself for the uh, for the upcoming year so this means that it could be really really good what do you guys think that we're going to see this year do you think we're going to see Call of Duty Black Ops 3 designed by Treyarch or do you think we're going to see Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4 designed by Sledgehammer Games it is a really really big question and it's a question that we're hopefully going to get answers from in the next couple of months um, if you guys remember, Drifter actually re uh, released or leaked information regarding Call of Duty Ghosts around February or March, I believe, because he kind of had some inside uh, people actually you know, in the kind of development stages of the game. He released the information to Drifter, Drifter uploaded it to YouTube, and we pretty much knew from there on out that uh, Call of Duty Ghosts will be released. Um, hopefully that's going to be the same this year, I'm not sure if he's got connections um, with Activision itself or the kind of developers uh, such as Treyarch, Infinity Ward or Sledgehammer Games. So do you guys think that Sledgehammer Games are going to be releasing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4? And if so, do you think that's going to be a good thing for the Call of Duty franchise or a really, really bad thing? Uh, Sledgehammer Games in the past have had some slack for actually not doing their games properly. We'll just have to see. But anyway guys, that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I've been Long Sensation. And I'll see you guys later.